Welcome to Wilderness Wanderings in the Word. Once again, it's Monday, September 9th, and the scripture reading is Ezekiel 40 through 41. The angels long, into look, long to look into this great mystery we call the gospel. Our focused reading is Ezekiel 41, 15 through 26. Then he measured the length of the building facing the courtyard at the rear of the temple, including its galleries on each side. It was 100 cubits. The outer sanctuary and the inner sanctuary and the portico facing the court, as well as the thresholds and the narrow windows and galleries around the three of them. Everything beyond and including the threshold was covered with wood. The floor, the walls up to the windows and the windows were covered. And the space above the outside of the entrance to the inner sanctuary and all the walls at regular intervals all around the inner and outer sanctuary were carved cherubim and palm trees. Palm trees alternated with cherubim. Each cherub had two faces. The face of a man toward the palm tree on one side, and the face of a lion toward the palm tree on the other. They were all carved all around the whole temple. From the floor to the area above the entrance, cherubim and palm trees were carved on the walls on the outer sanctuary. The outer sanctuary had a rectangular door frame, and, and the one at the front of the most high place was similar. There is a wooden altar, three cubits high and two cubits square. Its corners, its base, and its sides were of wood. The man said to me, this is the table that's before the Lord. Both the outer sanctuary and the most holy place had double doors. Each door had two leaves, two hinged leaves for each door. And on the doors of the outer sanctuary were carved cherubim and palm trees like those carved on the walls. And there's a wooden overhang on the front of the portico. On the side walls of the portico were narrow windows with palm trees carved on each side. The side room of the temple also had overhangs. What's this about? This vision that God gave Ezekiel has some fascinating descriptions. Our text for the day records that in the outer room of the temple, there were embroidery, art, there were embroidery work and the carvings of cherubim next to palm trees. What's to be made of these descriptions of cherubim and palm trees? Peter tells us in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 12, that the angels themselves desired to look into the gospel message we've received. There's something about this gospel message that captivates their attention and causes them to look away from the throne of God because of the gospel we received. I believe the carvings and embroidery work of the cherubim of God's way of telling us that this gospel message, which enables us to communicate with God as a friend speaking with a friend, captivates every creature in heaven. But the question is, does this captivate your message and your attention as well? If those in heaven see everything clearly and are caught up in the wonder and amazement of the gospel, then why are we not also caught up with it? Then we see the cherubim carvings and embroidery of the palm trees. Why palm trees? Well, where do you find palm trees? In the desert. What do you usually find around or close to palm trees? Some well or spring of refreshing, life-giving water. Could it be that God's showing Ezekiel that life in the wilderness is only found around the place where the gospel gives access to God, the true fountain of living water? Something to think about for now. Does the gospel captivate your attention? And do you find joy in drawing water out of the well of salvation? As we progress through the vision of Ezekiel that Ezekiel get, receives from God, we're going to discover the reason why Israel was about to go into captivity. More tomorrow.